Hey y'all, welcome to ignoring. No, uh, welcome to topic 2.4. We are going to be talking about Venn diagrams. And that's a capital V, E N N. It's capital because the guy's name was Venn who came up with them. Um, but Venn diagrams are a nice and useful tool to show relationships. You're going to use them a lot if you take statistics. Um, and uh, if you look at a lot of graphs and charts and such. All right, let's get into it. There's three types of Venn diagrams we're going to look at in this class. Uh, the first type is when you have a circle inside of a circle. What this means is all elements of P are elements of Q. Uh, a good example of that we could call this outside one athletes, right? Okay, and in here we could put like uh, basketball players. Because all basketball players are athletes. Every single one of the members in this P is also a Q. There's no one who plays basketball who is not an athlete. Because by definition, if you play basketball, you are an athlete. Alright. Now when we look over here. Uh, at this P and Q. Maybe here we're looking at uh, b-ball players. Some elements of P are in Q. Over here, we're going to look at like uh, volleyball players. Okay, there are people who play basketball and volleyball. They'd be in the middle. This would be an and, right? They do both. These people over here would play basketball but do not play volleyball. And these people over here would volley, hit the ball up, and there'd be no one over here to return it because pe these people don't play volleyball, but these people play volleyball but not basketball. And over here, P and Q, we could put like, I don't know, we could put like, if you're rich, and if you're a teacher, can't be a rich teacher, unless your name is rich, I guess. I'm kidding, I get paid fine. Okay, don't go, don't go spread any rumors. Alright, but these are two things that have no relationship. No one who's in P it also is in Q. Okay? Okay. Let's do some of these. So like this, some students who take chorus also take band. Some, not all. So that would be one like the middle, where we have chorus and band. Some people do both, and some people don't do both. Some people just do one of them. How this one? No perfect squares are prime numbers. None of them. No sharing means two separate circles. So all of my prime not perfect squares and my prime numbers. No overlap. No perfect squares are prime numbers. And no prime numbers are perfect squares. Okay. Sorry, noises. Now, what about this one? Numbers divisible by 6 are always divisible by 3. So, all of them. All numbers that you can divide by 6 are in the group being divided by 3. So, if you see that every, it means it's probably going to be a circle and a circle. If you see some, they're going to be overlapping. And if you see no, they don't overlap at all. Okay? Like, every natural number is a whole number. So every natural number is in the group of whole numbers. Okay? Okay. We'll do That'll be a good warm-up. Ooh, ooh. Look at this, though. Look at this logic. Like, the wrapper. Describe each diagram based on the statement. All right, this says for every P is in Q. That actually means if P, then Q, because every member of P is in Q. That's that conditional statement we talked about earlier. Now, over here, we have all the members of P and all the members of Q. So... Oh, I shouldn't have said and. 
So you can have all the members of P or Q. This would be P or Q. Remember, this means or. Because if I said, who, this would be every person who's in chorus or in band, who plays basketball or baseball. So it gets both groups completely. Now this one is just the ands. This is P and Q. Okay. Okay. So we're looking at just people who do both. All right. That's all I got for an intro for this. We're going to do more in class. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great day.